right, what do you do what it do? It's your girl Raya X with the Raya X show. Yes, and guess who I have today? I have crazy nobody motherfucking visionary. How you doing? What's up, people? I'm doing good. I'm doing good. So tell me, um, so I seen that you've been releasing a lot of shit. You've been on yeah. fire re- releasing a whole bunch of tracks. And I know that we did an interview previously in the past. Um, I'm still going to bring this back up for mm-hmm. everybody on my show. Let's talk about reincarnated Matonia. Uh, it's Meta Noah. Meta Noah, my stupid ass. Trying to pronounce- <laughs> That's how you know I'm high. You're trying to pronounce some shit. You know what I'm Yeah. <laughs> Let's talk about that. Uh, well, I released that, I believe, in 2019. Mm-hmm. And, uh, pretty much, you know, it was based on, like, anime. And, like, uh, how I related to certain characters. Uh, my most popular song, crazily, is Madara, Uchiha. Which, uh, I'm not saying that in a bad way. But, like, it, <laughs> out of all the songs, I didn't think that would be the one to kind of get... Better the, numbers the than all my other. Yeah, yeah. Why, why, why did, why do you say that? Because like it's one of them songs that was kind of different, like in the sense of the beat. I mean, it was a nice song. That's why I did it. But like, mm-hmm. just the whole vibe of the song is kind of different. And I tried something different, and so that's I just didn't that, think, That's exactly why you got more attention on it because yeah. it's something totally different. Yeah. <laughs> what you drinking on? Is that a monster? Oh, hell no, truly. Oh, this motherfucker got the truly yeah. on deck. <laughs> yeah, the truly and the, uh, you know what I'm saying, the good old gentleman Jack. Damn, you only drank the whole bottle. Uh, that was, that was at the <laughs> I had a studio session yesterday, too, so mm-hmm. like. How did that go? I mean, Monday, Monday. Uh, I went good. I got six new songs that are damn near ready, so, you know what I'm saying. You hiding them like that? Yeah, I'm just putting everything. <laughs> yeah, for real. I'm just putting everything in the vault until the EP drop. So right, I see that your dreads got longer too. Ah, uh, yeah, I didn't get. I just noticed that. Yeah. I was like, God damn, those shit's I got haven't really posted the last time. Yeah, I was supposed to post a pic like a while ago, like uh-huh. just to update like my Instagram and shit, but I forgot. So yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so talk to me about Stodic Otis. What inspired inspired Stodic Otis? Oh, uh, I think his name is like Marcus. Um, I think Marcus Aurelius. Mm-hmm. He kind of came up with the whole concept. He was like a Roman emperor, the only good one, supposedly. Mm-hmm. So um, he had like the stoicism shit, where it's kind of just like living in the now and with no expectations of what's to come or what has already happened. Right. And so when I came up with Stoic Otis, I just thought of myself. And the Stoic mm-hmm. comes from the Rome emperor, and then Otis comes from the temptation. You know right. how to, you know, he put the group together and shit, but he was the least noticed, like, member. He never had a standout role. He just made other people great, so it made him great. Right. So that's kind of how I went about that song. Somebody that's living in the now and somebody that's not noticed, even though I'm doing this shit as hard as anybody else I hear. So, yeah. I like that. That's what's up. Okay, okay. There's this one track that really caught my attention. I love this track. I seen the video. The video hard as fuck, honestly. That my route. Oh uh, yeah. That my route though. I'm not even gonna lie. I really like that. Um, what made you do that? Man, um, uh, as far as like this new wave of music I'm releasing this year, it was pretty much just letting people know what I'm on mm-hmm. and addressing some shit. Cause I released maybe like six songs last year mm-hmm. and they all had different vibes and was talking about different shit but my route is kind of like the official stamp of like all right now i got like my story to tell type shit so yeah and most of the time i'm by myself when i do everything so like most of my videos and shit are gonna be me by so myself no, no, no. <laughs> yeah because i don't fuck with nobody i don't need like an entourage of people i just kind of do what I do in my videos that I do in real life, so. Right. I, I feel that, honestly. Like, when I watched the video, I was like, oh, shit. Okay, my boy doing mm. that big. And I had, I had to get hyped by myself. Like, <laughs> I can get hyped by myself. You know what I'm saying? It was just right. fun being outside. It started raining during the shoot. And yeah, like, for yeah. real? Yeah, it, was, it started, like, towards the end of the shoot, though. We had already oh, kind of finished up all oh, the shots. Oh, that's good. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 
So how so how long did it take for you for you guys to uh, shoot that video? Man, due to kind of knowing, like I like to have a game plan mm -hmm. when I do anything. So it really only took about I say forty five to an hour. Okay. Not Which, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, because like I said, I had it planned out, so it was kind of just kind of directing the shit, mm -hmm. getting it, getting the right angles and shit, and pretty much, yeah, it was it was a quick process. Mm -hmm. Who shot that video, if you don't mind me asking? John Lane. Shout out John Lane. Shout out uh, Ariana Stillman mm -hmm. and All True Creative. Okay. They've, they've really been uh, working with me and shit. We got some new shit on the way, so. Oh, shit. We got some new visuals on the way? Yeah, new visuals on the way. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I want to see. I want to see some yeah. more visuals because these yeah. songs are too hard. We need to see. We need to see some visuals. And um, another, uh, uh, there's a couple tracks that I've heard. I've heard low key. I, I low can kind of tell like what the inspiration was behind yeah, that. Yeah, but but yeah. I just want, I just want you to give me a little insider. Like what, what, what inspired you? Well, first off, as far as like the simpler part of it, like low key, like keeping everything low key. Right. You know, some people dare to all their business, everything right. they're going through. <laughs> and so like pretty much my whole thing is keeping everything low key. Like I only say just enough, you know what I'm right. saying, to get people in tune or whatever I'm talking about, I only say just enough. And then low key off of like uh, Marvel. It is yeah, Mar yep. Marvel. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, low key off of the Marvel shit, uh, of course, I've studied like Norse mythology and shit, so I'm already kind of in tune with like the backdrop of him and all that type of shit. And then also related to the show because I actually came up with this song concept mm -hmm. like before the release of the show, and I didn't know the show really? was coming out. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I just never, I didn't drop, I don't believe I dropped it before. I'm not sure it was close, mm -hmm. but I had already wrote the song and recorded it. I just didn't release it. But yeah, it was also kind of like, kind of trying to get behind the show shit. It just so happened to kind of align. Type <laughs> it, it's so like, funny how you came up with that whole concept and then, like, they came out with that show. With exactly. <laughs> and I, I always thought that like, he was, like, the best person in the Marvel shit as far as, like, the villains and shit. So, like, mm -hmm. I was like, hell yeah, let me go and do this song. And it meant a lot at the time. It kind of was trying to, like, transition it into the My Route shit, so. Oh, that made sense. I figured, yeah. I figured that's what it was. That's why I was just like, oh shit, I see the transition in these two. Yeah. All right. So talk to me about um, Limitless. Uh, Limitless was one of them tracks that like, I didn't think a lot of people was gonna fuck with just because like why? a lot of people- Why'd you feel that way? People in, in my city don't like fast rap. So mm. like, I get told that a lot that I rap fast, but I listen back to my music and I be like, I ain't rapping fast, I'm just saying a lot. So. Mm. You just I get a lot said, more words in. Yeah, to exactly. Others. You know what I'm saying? As far as like uh, syllables and alliteration and shit like that. So mm -hmm. like, uh, literally, uh, Limitless was me just flexing my speed a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Just how many, <laughs> how many okay. words and like just combining, Dude. like saying a lot and saying it fast. So like, yeah. <laughs> that, that makes sense because you called it Limitless. <laughs> right. You know what I'm right. saying? So I can just, I can do a lot of shit. But uh, outside of maybe one other song, I don't think I've rapped that fast, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Of course, the whole song isn't, like, fast, but at the same time, like, it's me rapping a lot faster than I normally would. Right. And it was also based on the movie about taking that pill. Oh, the blue pill and the red pill. Nah, that's the Matrix. The... Oh, nah, which one are you it's, talking about? It's, it's a movie called Limitless. Oh, and like this, okay, okay. Yeah, and this dude take, like, uh, this one dude come up with some drugs or some shit, but it's different than, like, some weed or some shit like that. <laughs> or some, you yeah. take this pill, and it opens up the rest of your mind that you're not using. So, like, and it's, it's, it's real, it's real. But, yeah, uh, <laughs> but, uh, you take that shit, and, uh, pretty much the movie was, uh, I, the dude that played in The Hangover, mm -hmm. Not the funny dudes, but kind of like it was three dudes in the hangar. I think I know you got what you're the, talking about. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you had to look at. I'm telling you, limitless. But pretty much that was what it was based off of being able to like use more of my mind. So I'm talking about shit in that song that I normally wouldn't talk about. In maybe most songs. Mm -hmm. So a little bit more aggressive, just kind of in your yeah. face with yeah, it. Yeah, I'm not used to. I'm gonna keep it real. I'm not used to you being aggressive. So that right. song was just like. Ooh, is he barking at me? <laughs> <laughs> like, that's how I felt. I was like, oh shit. I felt like you had to, like, 
really show somebody, hey, yo, I can do this shit. Don't play with me. Yeah, yeah. Pr- that's, that's how pretty I much took what that, that song. Yeah, word. Mm-hmm. Cause that's that's how I was coming at it. So, what you got right there? A Red Bull. <laughs> Trying to stay awake. You tired? I'm finna take a shot. I'm not tired. I just like drinking Red Bull. Yes. Okay. Okay. Oh shit. Ooh, did that burn? A little bit. A little bit. <laughs> a little bit. So, um, gangster disciple novels. Ah oh, man. That that uh first off I have to say why I even did that because I actually have not heard Drake's version of Champagne Poetry. I think that's the name of the song. I think I know what you're talking about. Mm-hmm. Yeah, off his albums, uh the C B C L B or whatever. Mm-hmm. I haven't heard the album, so I have no opinion on it, but I heard that beat. You know what I'm saying? Told me. Exactly. Yeah, and so I found the beat, and then I heard Freddie Gibbs and Lupe Fiasco. They did a version to that song, and whoever mixed it, he put their versions together and made it like a full out song type shit. Mm-hmm. So I listened to that a couple of times, and I just got inspired. And I was going through some shit at the time that I wrote that shit. Like, I wrote mm-hmm. this, like, everything I'm saying in that song literally was happening in real time. So, like. Mm-hmm. Damn. Yeah, it, it, if you really just sit back and listen to the lyrics of that song, it's a lot more, I guess, a lot more personal. You know what I'm saying? And mm-hmm. I put out personal shit, but with that song, like it, it literally was like happening. It in hit real time. home. It hit yeah, home for you. So I just, I just had to speak on some shit because mm-hmm. I usually try not to put too much person too much yeah yeah, i I see what you're trying to say i know what you're trying to say so a lot of people knew i was talking to them in them songs Mm -hmm. and i hope they do (laughs) (laughs) yes bitch i'm talking about you (laughs) yeah it's hella more that coming so like what like pillage february 13th yeah, I was yeah. just about to get into that, but you you just snuck me. <laughs> but yeah, uh, the Gangster Disciple novels is uh, it's only on SoundCloud. I didn't release it on no other platform but mm-hmm. SoundCloud, just yeah. because like just because it, it was some it was a uh, somebody beat. else's beat. So yeah. I don't even give a fuck. I just you know what I'm saying had something to say because I was inspired. So like yeah, but that's well, all you can really just call song. it a remix. It's a remix. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? So Dios. <laughs> Ah, uh, yeah, that's based on my son. Aww. You know, my son's name is Dios, and mm-hmm. uh, he was in my My Route video in the very beginning. Yeah. Like, dancing mm-hmm. to uh, dancing to that song or whatnot. Mm-hmm. And uh, Dios was kind of based on, like, because in the beginning, I said I'm talking to Dios, but, uh, like, Dios means God in Spanish. Right. So, like, talking to God and my son at the same time. Mm-hmm. And so, like, it can be interpreted both ways because like when I first start off I talk about like yeah they got guns n- niggas got busy all that shit niggas got money like all that shit right so it could be like me talking to God as a son or me talking to my son as a father mm-hmm. so like you're his daughter of, yeah you know what I'm saying so in the in the song it's like a double message all the way through because i'm really just talking to both of them i'm letting him know like yeah there's people out here that's gonna do all this shit that you probably gonna have to experience through life and then with god i'm talking to him like yeah this is all the shit i've experienced through life type shit mm. so like yeah wow that shit dope i ain't even gonna lie that and then i just put mean. it i put it on the high beat so like, <laughs> yeah I'm that's the funny it. part to me i'm yeah. like yo this motherfucking speaking is some real shit and this beat hype is fuck <laughs> Yeah, that was my goal with that one. That was my goal with that one. So you said Pillage, right? You said that's going to be released when? February 13th. Why the 13th, if you don't mind me asking? That's, that's, that's a little... That's right, a little. <laughs> right before the 14th. And never has a bad, like... Like, you know, they say, like, 13th is, like, an evil day or some yeah, bullshit. Yeah, like, they be saying that. But 13 is actually the, the number of love. So... Mm right before Valentine's Day. And I'm um, kind of going with the theme of like melancholy love, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. See That's the name, good. the name Pillage. I know exactly yeah. what that means. Yeah. And I can, <laughs> I can already see what's coming on that track. <laughs> I, can, uh, <laughs> I know oh, you, you, you about to get real crazy on that one. <laughs> Just say it's probably, I ain't gonna lie. Like I'd say this, it's probably one of my hypest songs. 
Really? Yeah, like you're gonna be surprised be, by my. That's. Hmm. I'm gonna be surprised then because the name and I seen the little cover. I was like, hmm, what's going on here? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's 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 different. But like, I had to release it because I had it and I was gonna hold on to it. Mm -hmm. And I was just like, and I was just gonna wait to the EPs because the you know the EPs is actually next right after Pillage. So, so you're saying that the EPs are gonna drop before Pillage or after? No, no, after, 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 after. But it's pretty soon though, like very soon after. You know what I'm saying? Pillage is kind of like that filler to kind of hold you until we get to the actual. Oh, okay, project. that makes sense. That mm -hmm. makes a lot of sense. Okay. So I just um, didn't, uh, cause like I didn't want to go from like the last song that I got released. I didn't release it. My homeboy, uh, Shermo. Check him out. We did a song called Time. Uh, That's exactly what the fuck I was about to get into. Go ahead. Yeah, <laughs> you already uh, said it. Go uh, ahead. Shit, my Go bad. Ahead. Um, Are you good? Yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead. Like, after I released Dios, I didn't really have nothing else until, like, I was I was ready to go on and get into, like, the projects and shit. You know what right. I'm saying? Uh, the EP going into the album. Right. But, uh... December 20th, he hit me up before that and was like, we're going to go on and release it. So, like, that song came out, and that's the song that, like, I talk about. Some, I get pretty personal in that song, too. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But, like, as you know, the time part is it's about time. So, mm -hmm. like, yeah, uh, Time is another song I was featured on. Shout out to Shermo. And uh, he made the beat. Really? And, yeah. You the beat was pretty saying? hard. Yeah, so mm -hmm. some more mellow for me because you know I'm usually kind of on like hyper shit type shit. Right. Not really like super hype where it's like blow your brains out type shit. Just like it's something. more like the tempos are like a little bit sped up more. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, that song. So after that, which is mm -hmm. December twentieth, I was like, eh. December twentieth. You got all of January and then all of February, all the way till March, and right. I don't drop nothing. You got to keep people's attention. So I was just like, yeah, I'm going to drop some of this. I'm glad that you said that, actually. I'm actually glad that you said that because now when we start jumping into March and springtime, that's when people going to be dropping, dropping, dropping. The motherfucker that dropped in fucking February, January, or December, ain't nobody going to be sitting on that when a motherfucker drop in March or April. Right. Exactly. So if you're not if you're not like marketing your your album, you're fucked when somebody dropped on March and April. Right. And since we talked about the song Time, right? Mm -hmm. We're gonna get wild. Do you believe time exists? Uh only in somebody somebody's personal perspective. Mm -hmm. Like your your sense of time and my sense of time are different. Right. Period. So that means if we were to talk about time, it already doesn't exist because like yours is in a different realm than mine is. Compared to we'll yours. never be yeah, we'll never be on the same time. Same as like other words like I'm yeah, yeah. Well, I ain't trying to go in. But yeah, time it, it does. But you you but can it if you want to. <laughs> I, I'm gonna say time. I wanna go, I wanna stay on time because time is a big concept and it's something that I talk about in a lot of my songs because like mm -hmm. I feel like I'm somebody out of time. Mm -hmm. Like, you know what I'm saying? I'm from an old time period in the present time and I know about the future time. So like that's why I talk about my songs. That's why it's kind of different, you know what I'm saying? Cause I'm speaking in all three time periods. That's why that's I kinda... that that's exactly why I asked you. Yeah, yeah. But uh time it does and it doesn't exist. Time is something that you can come up with because then you can place when you got to do this and when you got to do that versus like, because like I'm, I'm always awake at nighttime. So I feel I should be on the other side of the planet where it'll be light, like it'll be daytime, mm -hmm. but I will be up because I'm used to the nighttime over here. You feel what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So like you can switch it up. That's why time is a concept that can be changed. It's something that can be altered because we came up with that. Right. As far as like humanity type shit. So, right. but yeah, it does and it doesn't exist. I'm glad you said that because that, because I honestly, I agree with that. I think it does and then it doesn't. Right. So, um, tell me, um, so do you believe that there are like higher beings on the planet? Do you believe? In what sense? Like, basically, do you believe in aliens? Oh, uh, yeah, I'm one. 
<laughs> yeah, I'm an alien. Like, anybody that has... All right, I'm going to tell everybody. Anybody that don't believe in aliens, I'm the first alien you've ever met. Shout out to y'all. <laughs> Humanity is kind of cool, but it kind of sucks at the same time. So, like... But, uh, yeah, I, I'm an alien. I feel like... Think about it. Aliens goes into alienated. Like, they've mm. called people aliens before. So, like, to say they don't exist... And I know, you, like, we're talking about, like, the motherfuckers. Is, yeah, I think there's people or things and everything from everywhere. Mm-hmm. To believe in nothing, which is everything, and everything is nothing. To say something doesn't exist, that don't make sense. You know what I'm saying? So, right. like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? That is true. Because a lot of people, they believe in, like, as far as going, like, I got to take a shot at religion real quick. But, like, all these Go niggas ahead. believe in. Go ahead, hit it. They always believe in gods and shit, but by the definition of alien, gods would be aliens. So, like, and then you got some people that believe in religion, but don't believe in ghosts. And then they'd be like, what's your proof that a ghost exists? Oh, I haven't seen one. Well, I haven't seen your god. So, like... Thank you! Thank you! What the fuck? I needed so that to be said. Yes. I feel like people, if if you're religious, you can't disbelief in anything because your whole shit is based on something that nobody's seen. You feel what I'm saying? I mean, take a look at like when the Bible was actually written. <laughs> And, and who, were older, who it and was written and by. <laughs> older shit, though. Like, there was exactly. way more shit. That was like more gods before that so more like because yeah. i feel it's it's technically about five thousand guys right now and i say this in one of my songs it's five thousand guys how can you prove to me that yours is the only real one like what five thousand that's a big number as far as guys these as people far as that gods, you, yeah you know what i'm saying people you supposedly they can do anything well there's five thousand people that can do anything and if i look at the world right now eh, it don't look like none of them are doing nothing <laughs> so like Yo, you just you know what i'm saying hey just <laughs> pointing out the obvious it's just all logic that's all it is oh my god that needed to be said though because it's like Dude, y'all sitting here talking about y'all believe in fucking white Jesus and this, that, and that. Have you actually seen that motherfucker? Exactly. <laughs> like, come on, man. So tell me what. But that's the crazy thing, though. Going back to that, white Jesus yeah. could be real, but he probably wasn't a white dude that everybody's thinking about. Exactly. And then you, you also could have had black Jesus, Mexican Jesus, Indian Jesus, all them niggas. You know what I'm saying? People just. That's the thing. A lot of the shit is really the same thing with different names. Like, mm-hmm. the story of Jesus is stolen from some Egyptian shit with uh, Horus. It's pretty much the same story, just a different name and different people. So Yeah, like, like they, all the stories in the Bible are taken from other people's history. It, exactly. And honestly, all religion, like, they really talk about the same thing in different ways. Literally. It's perspective. That's all it is. Yeah, we're all one, just different perspectives. <laughs> but it's crazy, like, they use that shit to kind of separate shit, you feel me? Mm-hmm. When it really should bring people together, but... If... That's the thing. Almost everything is about separation. It's just exactly. like, for example, um, since I'm Puerto Rican and Colombian, I'll use this as an mm. example. Puerto Ricans, Dominicans, Jamaicans, all this, we're all separated. But we all come from the same tribe. Right. There's it's the same tribe, and then there's diff- different, like, itty bitty tribes. Right. But we're like all the tribe, same. But it's still the same, you know exactly. what I'm saying? And then now it's just, you got Puerto Ricans don't like such and such. This motherfucker don't like this yeah, motherfucker. Yeah, you, you know. Do you not realize I'm, where y'all come from? I'm like from? a third, yeah, I'm like a third Mexican. I'm a third African, a third Mexican, and then a third uh, native. Mm. So, like, I understand, like, that shit because, like, I've been an outcast in all of them. Right. But I'm not full or whatnot or whatever. Mm-hmm. And so, like, I got to experience, like, yeah, I realized, like, uh, from what I experienced, mm-hmm. Puerto Ricans used to hate Mexicans. It didn't make sense to me. Because, mm-hmm. like, one, I'm mixed with some other shit, and I be cooling with both, you know what I'm saying, Puerto Ricans and Mexicans. Right. And, that, and like, they used to, like, throw shots back and forth at each other, and I be like, 
Huh? Why are we? Why are we even doing this? Why are we doing this, fam? Exactly. (laughs) It 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 didn't make sense to me because I was like, damn. Before you knew that, y'all was cool. Right. Exactly. It's a shit. It's just 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 people, man. That's just human activity. Human activity. (laughs) Humans have choices, though. That's Think the thing. about it. Some, they don't know how to choose. That, but you can't tell somebody that though. You can't. That's the thing. You can't teach like, somebody it, how to be themselves. You can't. But human shit. <laughs> to allow a human to live by their own belief, opinion, and whatever, that denies somebody else because, like, that's that's law of relativity. Like, you got. Good and evil, love and hate. It's there's always gonna be something opposite you in the world. You feel me? The yin and yang. And so, like, <laughs> right. But that's what's like a conflicting thing because people mm-hmm. want to unite more than just balance. Right. Like, and that's what creates conflict with people that are on some different shit than you. Mm-hmm. Of course y'all not gonna unite Or y'all had issues in the past And then like people don't even know Like you might not like somebody Cause you had some issues in past life Type shit Right. You'd be like damn Usually, I don't even like this It would person. be like yeah like you know A motherfucker would tell somebody Oh I don't like this about you No that's probably Something you don't like within yourself Usually when you tell well. That, that, yeah. that can also be true Because usually when a motherfucker gets angry, they say something that they know deep down inside. They really don't fuck with it about themselves, but they but they gotta point the finger and say that shit to somebody else. I've seen that. I've seen that a lot. Like uh, mm-hmm. a lot of people are in denial about their own issues. You know yeah. what I'm saying? I just talked to a homie recently about like him, like him knowing somebody that's in denial about shit that's real, like shit that's. Mm-hmm happening right then and there this is how you're feeling this is something that you need to address Mm -hmm. and if you don't you're gonna keep going through it and reflect it on other people and exactly you know what i'm saying because i have met a lot of empaths in my life i'm not an empath i'm a void person Mm -hmm. i i can feel everybody's emotion but i don't feel it well let me say i can understand people's emotions but i don't feel it so like if somebody was super you just don't take that shit in yeah, you know what I'm saying? The void is something different. That's pretty much like what my route is. That's why I'm finna teach people about what the void is and what it means. Right. I I don't I've never met nobody that's on like what that means. And uh because a lot of people try to associate it with being numb. That's numb, not the same thing. Yeah, being numb is something that you consciously have to think about. Like you have to make yourself numb. And I've mm-hmm. been through that and that's not what the void is. You no. know what I'm saying? That's not. But um, people people like to come up with their own theories and scenarios. That's all it shit. is. You know yeah, what I'm saying? That's, that's you, always, you ever met a motherfucker that always want to be right? Man, that's that's, <laughs> that's that's about 90% of the people yeah, on this what? planet. You know what I'm saying? Everybody want to be right. It's like, this is my thing. A motherfucker ask you a question. But you give them an answer, right? But mm. it's something they don't want to hear. Mm. It's like, why That's... Why do you even ask if you don't want right. to? Why? Why? Right. That shit is unbelievable. But that it's crazy, though, because, like, people ask because they want other perspectives. But when the perspective doesn't align with what they was originally kind of going with. Yeah. That's when they get upset. My bad, I'm looking for my lighter. No, you good. Take I, your time. Shit. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, I still can uh, talk and multitask and shit. Yeah, trust me, we good. Oh, yeah. Yeah, but, like, that shit That shit just mind boggles me. But, I mean, it is what it is. We can't stop but that's, people and their actions and whatnot. What's crazy is we can, and that's why I'm trying to... I, this, is, this will probably be the first time I've said this live. Mm-hmm. I'm trying to create, like, a cult of yeah. people that don't believe in opinions beliefs and feelings mm-hmm. because all like i posted something today with my newest post as far as like on instagram uh about just like i understand what like happiness is a feeling yes. but laughing and smiling are expressions everybody's expression you know what i'm saying <laughs> everybody's expression 
it's different. So yeah. you've never met people that smile the same. There's no. something that's super different. And as far as laughing, people laugh different. Like but this. happiness has a definition. Yes, you know sir. what I'm saying? Happiness can be defined with something that pleases you, but there's different things that pleases people. Mm-hmm. And so, yeah, that, that's just a little bit of it. You know what I'm saying? Damn, I cannot find my lighter. God, man. God damn, lighters, what you, what you doing? <laughs> lighters, Yo, y'all. Since we talk about lighters, I'm the so, motherfucker so. you don't want to pass the light to. Why is I'm going to tell y'all why I'm the motherfucker not to pass the lighters to. Because I'm the main motherfucker to lose the bitch. <laughs> I, mean, I get it. I'm feeling like, it right now. <laughs> motherfucker be like, yo, where the light at? I don't know, G. You just had the motherfucker, though. Yeah. <laughs> but, but, um, so tell me, what was one of your most wildest experiences if you've ever had one? Man, honestly, uh, <clears throat> I mean, shit. That's a, that's a broad question though because I've had a lot of experiences mm-hmm. uh, well tell me well how about this tell me what was one of your favorite wild oh there we go <laughs> tell me what is one of your favorite wildest experiences favorite man uh probably skydiving damn how'd that go man I went at 17 First time in the crazy, that was my first time in a plane. I gotta ask, was it cold outside? Yeah. yeah. Bitch, what? You did not jump off a goddamn plane nah, in the it cold. Went, it wasn't like cold, but it's naturally just colder the farther you go up. You feel yeah. what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So, like, I wasn't used to that. And then, like, the wind, the air is like thinner and shit. So, breathing is a little different. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because I've only been on a plane twice. Oh, really? Once was to skydive, and that was when I was 17. I'm 29 now. Damn, so you did that when you you had some nuts. I just didn't care. You know <laughs> I can you, see. I can see. Yeah. When, when you don't... Uh, well, that's kind of my whole thing about... Hold up. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, you kill me. <laughs> oh, yeah, but, like, when you just don't care about living... Mm-hmm. Shit's different. So yeah, I just went ahead and did that shit. Mm-hmm. And that's something I can always like remember and like it was different because like yeah. shit like that doesn't happen often. I've asked people to go again with me. Like they, recently. They were scared, right? Hell no, nah, ain't <laughs> nobody trying to go Scott. I wanna shoot a video. <laughs> I wanna shoot you a wanna video Scott Diving. Oh, yeah. In the yo, yeah. that's hard. That's hard, that's my G. Yeah, I'm saying I ain't seen line. nobody do I'm, that. That's why I'm finna get the GoPro. I already got the song finishing everything. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm, I'm doing that shit. So since you've already tried that, have you thought about like, um, you know that little slingshot shit? I forgot what the fuck it's called, but it's like, you know how like they pull you back and then they just yeah. throw your ass in the air? And then you fall in like the little... Uh, yeah. like thing. Yeah, yeah that. I've already done that. I've already done that. that how how did you? You wasn't scared, yo. You in the tra- yo. You like that <laughs> adrenaline type shit. You like oh, that. Shit, oh shit! Oh shit! It froze. It froze. No, come back. Well, this is what happens on the Raya X show. <laughs> you get Do too excited. Oh man. The- you know what? Let me Oh, okay. No, nah, wait, wait, wait. Ah, uh, so I might need to stay in the house. Oh. <laughs> Damn. Cool. No. All right, we in the house with it. What's All up? Right. All right. So, um I know you're from you're from Nashville, am I right? Mm. How's it feel being in Nashville? <laughs> <laughs> the man. The laugh for me. <laughs> I like Nashville for what it's like created as far as what I've been able to create and turn into and evolve into. But I hate Nashville. Nashville's trash. Yeah. Why do you hate it so much if you don't mind me asking? Man, honestly, I just hate people. So like just mm. being around people sometimes 
and I don't at know. this point in time, I need to know what's what, what your. <laughs> I know you don't believe in this shit, but you. Know, <laughs> I don't even want to ask because I know you finna like say some shit. <laughs> what's your? I don't what, know. What's your I just sign? think uh, everybody's kind of in their own little world and what they define it as. Uh, so like when they go out, they define other people the same way, and it's like you can't define the world by how you are and that's even something i had to learn like yeah i'm i'm not gonna find another person exactly like me you feel me like you can find people that relate but relating and being somebody that's just like you think like you understand everything you you know what i'm saying so like I realize people start to create conflict in their own minds because of how other people are. And so it makes them like combative with other people. And like, and it goes with like, like, I don't, I don't, I don't, ideologies, <laughs> yeah. ideologies <laughs> philosophies, the mental state, feelings, awareness, observation, you know what I'm saying? It breaks down and like, people start setting up barriers yeah. and expectations. You know what I'm saying? I don't believe high in standards. expectations. You know what I'm saying? I wouldn't even say it's high standards. It's just an expectation. You expect this. You expect too much of others. Not, not Some exactly. Some people do. Some people do, though. Some people actually, yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. definitely. But mm -hmm. I'm saying expectation in itself on a simpler term before you even go into, like, the sub terms. Like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? High, it's just expectation in itself. Think about it. If I expect it to have a bad day, nine times out of ten, I'm going to have a bad day. Exactly. But there's, but there's also people out there that expect to have a good day. If I run into a person that expects to have a good day as a person that has a bad day, Either we're both gonna have a bad day, we're or, both gonna have a good day, or uh, they're gonna have a bad day, and I'm gonna, I'm have, gonna a have a good day. day. Yeah, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? It, it, it can switch up the narrative, but people create those expectations and only want one lane. See, that's only uh, when you stay open. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, just think if I expect this mm -hmm. and it doesn't happen like that, mm -hmm. then I'm gonna be upset. But right. I might be with somebody that expected something similar and it happened the other way. Right. And now I don't like them because of that and they don't like me because of, you know what I'm saying? Like, That's some petty weird. shit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right. 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 That but, goes to like um, how everything revolves around our thoughts. Like when, when you right. were talking about how like somebody expects their day to be bad, it's going to be bad. And that's what people don't understand. It's what you visualize in your head, which you constantly are thinking about. You know how mm -hmm. people talk about, for example, I, I was thinking about this the other day, actually. Um, you know how, like, people be seeing 444 or, like, shit like that. You know yeah. what I mean? They'd be like, they'd be like, oh, my God, my ancestors. <laughs> ancestors face ass. But anyway, <laughs> nine times out of ten, they... <laughs> <laughs> but like you know like for example they be saying nine times out of ten when you see those numbers um they tell you that you have to watch what you're thinking about at that time mm. you're thinking that's interesting because i ain't gonna lie i'm a person that actually does like see those numbers and pay attention to them mm -hmm. but since i'm a little bit older i don't look at it like other people do Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like most people I see that bring numbers to me, mm -hmm. uh, they're like, oh, this means something. Mm -hmm. And it's usually something like like you were saying, somebody else trying to tell them something. Mm -hmm. But sometimes it's really within yourself, like something that you need to notice. It's or, like it's like a, 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 a reminder to yourself. Right. Like me, mm -hmm. I'm a, I'll tell you what numbers I see all the time and it's mm -hmm. everywhere at places I shouldn't even see it. Like I got a song that's yeah. all right, my numbers are three three three, six six six, and nine nine nine. All those hold a special that's... place for me. I can yeah, say something with that. Okay. Yeah, they're all divisible by each other and exactly. they all can go into all the other numbers. But you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. There's some different. Mm -hmm. And uh, it, I've had my cars read and all that shit, and mm -hmm. the shit still comes up. But like, I got songs where it comes after that. But like, mm -hmm. for me, it means that I'm either doing something incorrectly or I'm going in the right way. I don't really interpret it as 
people telling me shit. It's just right. really di- it's direction. You know what I'm saying? Of course you can tap it. Oh shit, I almost fell. But just, <laughs> of course you. <laughs> I'm standing on top of this little like ledge thing or whatnot. I was like, what the fuck? You just but, had uh, to come on, man. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, like I, I think the numbers thing. Some people kind of go overboard with it, yeah, and they misinterpret it. Which, mm-hmm. like, that's kind of what the world is—a misinterpretation of what it should be, in my opinion. Yeah. But uh, yeah, I think some people think too deep and don't acknowledge what's actually there and what it's actually saying. Yeah. I can honestly agree with that. I just wanted to bring it up as kind of like a joke. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We, we didn't did delve into it real quick. Yeah, we, we, it, it definitely needed an explanation because I'd be having like weird ass people like message me shit like that. They'd be like, yo, right. I keep seeing this fucking number, man. I'm like, what do you want me to do about it? Mm. <laughs> Like, my, make, my like, bad. I just slid outside. No, it's okay. It's like I be telling them. I be telling them the same thing you said. It's like you can take it either or. It could right. be. It could be yourself reminding you, "Hey, yo, you need to stay on this task. You need to be on this." Yeah. But it's all about That's how what I look at it. He, as. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? If anybody wanted to know, like, and th- they call them like angel numbers and all that type. Yeah. Of this. Like, yeah. I mean, I get it. Like I said, it's the numbers repeat. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? But at the same time, it's just really just... It's almost like a glitch in the Matrix telling you something. Deja exactly. blue type shit. You know what I'm saying? Something simpler. I just think people overthink it. Have you ever had um, some deja vu moments? Yeah. I've had... <laughs> my, my life right now is a deja vu moment. Like, you know what I'm saying? With everything that's happening now, mm-hmm. I got songs that I'm finna release that I wrote like three three years ago and the shit that i oh, talked shit. about in those songs mm-hmm. are happening now type shit so you know what i noticed about you you have a, a old soul if you know what i'm saying a old soul <laughs> what i mean like an old soul no nah, wait 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 i'm only finna correct that just because recently i found something that's older than old and it's primordial uh, explain yeah. that to me baby uh, primordial just means like from the beginning of time type shit. Like I realized mm-hmm. I was an old soul at a young age, but mm-hmm. I was older than the old souls that I was meeting, and like they would consider me older than them. And I was like, damn, we're supposed. Do you to- feel that? Do you feel that you've been on this planet before? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I'm talking Fuck about. Fuck okay? this planet. Like <laughs> when, Mars, when Mars was the original Earth. Like mm-hmm. yeah, I'm not gonna dive all the way into that. I'm just gonna tell people to look. But uh, Mars was the original Earth. Our Earth is on like the pathway to be like Mars, mm-hmm. just because of what we're doing on this motherfucker. Yes. <laughs> you guys aren't taking me seriously. Okay. okay. Sicker than the sickest. Sicker than the sickest. Sicker than the sickest. Sinister art storyteller, nympho ninja art evolutionary. Whatever revolutionary, can't you see that life's a dream of things? RT isn't free for being simply because you live, not living. So the most high sent me a gift, excuse me if I am not very giving. Eradicate every doom. Life isn't what it seems. I am deaf after life. Everybody, now we zombies. Thriller for real, send chills to those who exist. Just, just to bitch with them MJ Swills and type Park 2 Push me and I so will wait when wing. time back to the time where I had been and killed Vampire tendencies, blood cold, cold blooded The doctor said the cancellation upon the Benadryl Now watch forward for the present feel Is it real? Families crying, praying by the wishing well Wish me well as the wise summon me Six, six, do you know the real history? Summoning the pineal gland Okay, so um, I had recently had a podcast. Um, I called it 23 Years of Life. Mm -hmm. Because for me, I feel that when I had turned 23 years old, it was hard for me. I, I don't know how it is for everybody else, but I felt like it was hard for me. And it was the time of 
for me to recognize what type of people I need to be around, what type of environment I need to be around. Basically, like, what I need to associate myself with. Right. So, when you were 23 years old, was it difficult for you, or was it, like, how, how was it for you? <laughs> <laughs> I knew you was gonna oh, lie too. I knew you was gonna lie. <laughs> <laughs> it's cause I'm 29, so like I ain't thought about. Oh shit! You see how I didn't did? Yeah. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm in here with the motion sense of light thing. But uh, oh, 23, okay. man. Uh, it's a long time ago. Like, uh, it's not that long ago. Don't play like that. You ain't that six old. Six years. You're not that six. old, though. I'm 29. You know, man, I've asked people <laughs> 20 years older than you that question. At 23, though, it was it was pretty cool. I was coming off of college and, like, uh, I don't know. I I definitely was in a different mind state, but I was a lot more comfortable than I am now. Yeah. Like I think uh, in at the age that I am now, like being not comfortable and not stable, actually inspires me a little bit more than how I was at 23. 23, I was too comfortable. Define like, too comfortable. I didn't need for no money. I have a car. Uh, okay. <laughs> Like, little simple shit, you know what I'm saying? I just didn't need for shit, and, like, I was good. But, uh, damn, what year is, tw- like, me is 23? Think about this. I'm a turning 30 this year. Mm-hmm. And, uh, let's see. Six years from this year, that'll be, what, 20... <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're doing too much calculation. <laughs> and yeah, I don't want to do no math right now, but I'm gonna say around like 2015, 14, mm-hmm. somewhere between there. Mm-hmm. And uh, yeah, I was definitely in a different space than I'm in now, mentally. You know what I'm saying? I don't even give a fuck what I was going through then, just mentally. Like, you I wasn't. Like you matured now. more. Not even that, because mm-hmm. I'm an old soul already, so I was mature at the age of seven. It's just like. Yeah. Understanding my own thoughts a little bit more and then more balance and more void. Mm-hmm. Okay. So um if you could tell your younger self something, what would it have been? Ah oh, man. Uh lash out. I would have told him to go on a snap. Like, in situations where I didn't snap, but I kind of snap, you know what I'm saying? It didn't go... It was like a very mediocre type thing of me to do. Like, I just didn't think it meant much. Mm -hmm. And I think in some of the situations, I probably could have just said fuck it and go all the way in, you know what I'm saying? So... So so you would say, like, back then, you feel like you didn't have as much confidence as you do now? Nah, hell no. I was super confident in, like, uh, Mm -hmm. I would just say I I spare, well, I think I spare more people now. But Mm -hmm. back then, there were certain situations where I felt like Mm -hmm. if I would have knew my life went like this, I would have went ahead and just did the full extent. Like, instead of just fighting somebody and knocking them out, a couple years ago, mm-hmm. <laughs> I would have just went home. You know what I'm saying? Went ahead and just beat them, like beat them, beat them, type mm-hmm. shit. Yeah. So yeah, I I just wish like if we were talking about like back six years ago, fuck, still long. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I would have definitely uh, some situations I would have reacted a little bit more, doing more. Doing more in this situation. Let me say that. Okay. 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 So, um, if you could have only one thing on this planet, just one thing that you can't absolutely live without, what would it be? One thing I can't live it can't, without. It can't I, be. It can't be a person. Ah, that's cool. I wasn't gonna okay. choose a person. Okay. 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 <laughs> 
Uh, one thing that I can't live without, and it can't be a person, weed. <laughs> no, I knew you was going to say that. I just like, knew you what? Was <laughs> You know what I'm saying? I like weed more than people now. So, yeah, like, yeah. yeah. If, yeah. if one thing... Wait, wait, wait. Oh, oh. I ain't going to lie. I had to go with music. Oh. If I'm really just... Like, that was a drunk moment, but... Uh, if I could have any, I could stop smoking anything if I could just have music, you know what I'm saying? I to listen to it, it, make it, whatever, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, music, music kind of saved my life, so I, I, we in the sense did too, but I like music. If not for music, I probably wouldn't even really care about smoking weed for real. I, I, I can honestly agree with that. Honestly, because um, music music is everything. You know what I'm saying? And um, exactly, uh, there's a lot of there's a lot of things that go behind music. And weed is just a materialistic thing. You go, you gonna have music uh, forever. I, I love weed. Agree with that. I'm just saying I, it's, it's only materialistic. Like uh, people buy clothes and shoes and shit. It's because people place value on it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? If you just like, that's my whole thing. I'm against both legal weed and illegal weed. Mm -hmm. Why? Because it just needs to be a plan. If it doesn't mean anything and it goes back to, because we already don't care about nature, make it nature again, and people won't care about it as much. You know what I'm saying? There's countries that literally have just made every drug legal and people don't just do drugs. Like some of these people that are doing all this shit do it mm -hmm. because they're told that they can't. You know what I'm saying? So now that we, so now that you mentioned drugs, do you feel that drugs should be legal? Yeah. Across the board though. Mm -hmm. If you make it legal, people aren't going to, they're accessible. I can go get a hundred pounds of coke but why would I do, do that yeah. if it's legal everybody can get a hundred pounds of coke right. you feel what I'm saying like you're mm -hmm. not gonna wanna do that on a daily basis same with meth and all the other strong drugs mm -hmm. and I do have to endorse I have never did any strong drugs due to my affiliation <laughs> so yeah. Like, yeah but at the same time I understand that I don't judge people to do it but it's like Mm -hmm. People usually have to do extra shit to get whatever drug they're getting, and then you can get time for that and all that type of shit. So I'm just kind of like, eh. if it was legal across the board, now it takes away that having to get money off of it. You know what I'm saying? So that takes out that, all right, people are only going to do it during times that they can get it, kind of like weed. Like, yeah. I'm going to get weed when I'm available to get it or whatever. And I wouldn't have to worry about shit. Just go home and just do this. You know what I'm saying? Whatever yeah. type shit like that. So like, yeah, I'm against both. I just think they just make shit. As far as we mm -hmm. make it natural, but if the if our country is gonna be one of the top producing places of drugs, make it legal across the board. But that takes away from their money. So exactly, yeah. it's um, it's crazy. You know how like. Everybody knows that alcohol is the most deadliest drug. For right. Everybody knows that. <laughs> and at one point, and it wasn't legal here. You know what I'm saying? Like, hey, 1920s. I already know. Like, yeah, mm -hmm. like, and you look at a lot of this shit now and just like, what? Nice. It's a game that y'all are playing. Like, y'all not trying to heal and, like, cure people. No. From taking something that's not supposed to be in taken, mm -hmm. but they do it because it makes money. You and all saying? drugs really do is put you at a certain frequency. Exactly, different frequencies of yourself. Exactly. And it's funny. Um, <clears throat> it was recently on a a, a, a show. We mm -hmm. had talked about um how uh, it was. I think it was my last episode. How doctors, right? 
they they legally they can get those drugs right. you know like they they good they not about to go to jail for no shit like that and it's crazy how they can prescribe oxys you know basically like all the fucking crazy ass drugs that we can't get on the street right so it's like dude like what, what type of game are you playing <laughs> And then for what, what, one thing that really bothers me, other than weed not being legal, is shrooms. Shrooms are natural. I've done shrooms. And uh, we are, I believe, I don't, I, I don't want to say this and I might be wrong. I just think say we don't, are, just tell them don't quote you on it. Yeah, don't quote me on this, but <laughs> I believe we are 70% fungus. Could be wrong, but I know we I are. Know, I know we are a fungus. I know that. But we're seventy percent water. Okay, so that's wrong. I know that was wrong. You know what, guys? Hold on, but, let me look this up. But as far as the fungus shit, you might be talking about like uh, I'm gonna say bacteria. We are composed of a big component of bacteria, but seventy mm-hmm. percent water. I'm gonna say, and then uh, and y'all can quote me on that. Fuck it. And then the bacteria shit, like we're just composed of bacteria from our head, like as far as like your hair on your hair, mm-hmm. all the way inside your body, toes, hands, arms, whatever. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, yes. Yeah, so apparently it's 43% bacteria. What do you think that's, that's cool. I that's whatever 50. the internet, whatever the internet says. But I, I, I was <laughs> saying fifty before. I've never looked that shit up, and I said fifty. You know what I'm saying? I, I would honestly that that would be a right. Fifty number. seventy. That's fifty seventy. Think about it. Seventy mm-hmm. percent water, fifty percent bacteria, and then everything else. That's mm-hmm. about thirty percent. You just do the whole number, and that's about hundred and fifty of a person. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Let's call it like that. Let's call it simple. <laughs> let's do. Let's do call that. Call it simple. Yeah. Let's do that. So, um, you said you you've taken this before, right? Taken what? Some. Yeah, yeah, two times. Two times. You know how like some people, some people, because I'm not gonna say me. Some right. people have had bad experiences, bad trips on um. Some. Right. What was your first experience like on it? If you don't mind me First asking. experience was kind of random. I just came from a track meet. Mm. Yeah, and it was some pizza at the crib. Pizza had shrooms on it. Oh shit. Yeah, it, it <laughs> was a trip and a half. So mm-hmm. about, I said about uh, 3.5 and 1.7 on a pizza. And uh, yeah, I kind of tripped out. I really just kept wanting to go places stuff. Like, so it wasn't different. Like, I be, I want to go to a different room than everybody's in type shit. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah, I just didn't want to be around people, I guess. You know what I'm saying? My first trip wasn't right. too bad. You know what I'm saying? So for your second trip, did you take more or did you, like... Now, you my second like- trip, I just took a whole trip with my homeboy. Mm-hmm. And then we smoked a blunt right after. Cause that was his first time. <laughs> yeah. And yeah, like I told him, yeah, it take a, a little minute to kick in. He ain't like weed, but he was like, let's smoke a blunt. I was like, all right. Okay. And that trip was pretty funny. I ain't gonna lie. Like, <laughs> why was it funny? Why was it funny? <laughs> <laughs> all right. So first off, like we walked through like the trail. Like I don't even remember what trail we was at, but Tennessee Trail. Like, okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and like uh, out of nowhere, like we walk in, the shit start kicking it after we were supposed to play. <laughs> yeah. And so I'm chilling. I'm just looking at shit and be like, damn. You just minding your business, just yeah, looking I'm just at like, shit. Yeah. The trees are look greener and the bark on it look more like pronounced type shit. Uh-huh. But then this nigga, he told <laughs> he talking about like, oh, bro, do you hear the buzzing of this bug? And I'm like, what are you talking about? And my bro literally just took off running. So, yeah, I'm running, too. Like, what are you talking about? This ain't no scary movie type shit. Like, I'm not finna stay and be like, oh, what's this? Nah. (laughs) As soon as bro took off running, we took off running. So then, like, uh, 
we went to the car. Uh-huh. And like every time we got in the car, bust oh, out no. laughing, couldn't do nothing. <laughs> but when we got out the car, everything was normal and shit. And we'll be like, bro, what the fuck? Type shit. Right. And we did that about three, four times. And then we, anybody that like I know that watches this, they'll remember like I like Snapchatted all these motherfuckers. <laughs> Damn, you was the one. video, <laughs> yeah, I was lit. So I just Snapchatted all of them, just lit outside the car. Uh-huh. And I got off Snap, tried to do the car thing again. And then, like, what we had to do was, like, he had to get in first, and I had to get in second. <laughs> and then the shit just wasn't funny. But, like, I ended up going to my homeboy in them house, mm-hmm. and he ended up going to, like, a banquet. And, like, what? shit got different from there. Yeah, yeah, like, he yeah was he like, longer? Nah, nah, like a sports banquet. <laughs> like a yeah. sports banquet or some shit. Yeah. I don't know, a family banquet. I don't know, it was some... Wait, so this nigga has something serious to do. And he was on it, man. He said that I shit was he lit, was He said that shit, yeah, he said some <laughs> super funny shit. I, I ain't gonna lie, it's been a while. So I don't just remember exactly what he told me, but I just remember it was super funny. Like, you know what I'm saying? Cause it was some random ass shit that you don't think people deal with and shit. Now me, I just went to my homeboy in them crib. Mm-hmm. And at first I just started drinking a lot of water. <laughs> a lot of water. And then after that, I just started talking to them about shit from past lives. That's what's crazy. They with was my, looking at you like you was got Yeah, them. like I literally had everybody in the garage just listening to what the fuck I was talking about. And it was people that were younger than me, mm. couple, and then people that were like 20 years older than me. Cause I was talking to my homeboy and them uh, mom and pops. Oh, shit. Like, yeah, step mom really, and pops. They were sitting there listening but, to you? Yeah, it was crazy because they were asking me questions about shit like that I literally didn't know about. Like, I don't know. What the fuck? We playing, but like we I said, I've only did questions. shrooms. <laughs> yeah, it was it was crazy. I've only did shrooms twice. But I said, like, when I do it again, I got to be somewhere where I can do shit and where I can vibe with nature. I just felt like I was kind of trapped here when I took like, oh. shrooms. Yeah. yeah. I understand. Yeah. So, so, so you thinking about taking it again i might i might right now, now that we now go ahead baby I, I was just about to say i'm not in the place where i'm finna take shrooms because i'm not leaving where i'm at right now you know what i'm saying on a strategic level mm-hmm. i might though i don't know because i am kind of random <laughs> so you know how um mike tyson like he be having on uh, his little podcast and stuff and he be talking about the toad venom DMT. Wait, the what the ah uh, yeah yeah okay. Mm-hmm. It's a it's With literally DMT be called- though. There's a DMT that they create, and then there's the DMT that go like comes from dead bodies. Most of the time, when I say the dead body shit, people don't know what I'm talking about. But I just want to specify, you know what I'm saying? Because I like well, when I talk about me, DMT. Let me put this in a different term. Ayahuasca. I've heard of that. Have you thought about doing that? Nah. That's a, that, that right now, that's a whole different, like, that's a whole different scenario compared to... I just feel they, like, I feel they tamper with that shit, though. Mm. Why do you feel that way? Because, like, listen to what they be saying. Like, if you look up, of course, everybody's experience is going to be different, but, like, usually mm. it's not a just going into it like that's what any natural shit is like you just go into it off a note like that shit kind of hits you mm-hmm. you feel me like eh, just based on what i've researched i wouldn't do it because one i feel like certain shit affects me different than other people mm-hmm. so i'm not telling nobody not to do it <laughs> but i feel like it, it doesn't naturally just lead you into it like we the shrooms are doing. You know what I'm saying? Okay, I understand. I, I understand your your perspective. Yeah, that that's really all I'm saying. I, I haven't seen nobody led naturally into it. Like It's usually very dramatic or very just kind of oomph. And I understand getting high, but like I said, if your mind can control certain type of shit, well, I might need to do it. Yeah. To see how, like, 
Cause I don't know, I feel like shit don't affect me like other people. Like people's experiences is like, they be crazy and I'll be like, damn. <laughs> that's yeah, I'm gonna be honest. Like I've watched like people's stories and stuff on like their little trips and stuff. I'll be like, God damn, what the hell, that really happened? It happened like that? <laughs> but I, I feel like it only happened like that cause they mind wasn't ready. You know what I'm saying? Like, you might be diving into some shit that unlock more than you ready for it type shit. But mm-hmm. I've never had that experience. Like, I've never had, but I've only did two things, weed and shroom. Right. I've did shrooms twice, and I've been smoking weed for a long ass time. And, like, I've never had no bad experiences. Right. So, like, I've heard some crazy shit off just shrooms. I've heard some crazy, I've seen some crazy shit off just weed. Like, mm-hmm. Some of the motherfuckers that be smoking, I be like, oh my gosh, please never smoke again. Like, yeah, what? Yeah, some people, I don't know, they can't handle that shit, but I think it's a mental thing. I think weed points out your your mental level. Fuck the, you know what I'm saying? Let's go. Let's go on a dive on some power level. Like, yeah, power levels on some, some weed smoking shit. Like, yeah, mm-hmm. if you smoke two blunts, that's your limit. You a two blunt ass nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Funny, you funny, bro. Just say, oh you know my god, they a two blunt ass nigga, and then you got them some niggas that be like, oh, I'm gonna go and hit the other one, and then them be the niggas that don't wake up and be sleep for a super man, long time. Man, that's the nigga. That's the nigga that fade out. Yeah, it like, be men yeah. sleep on the couch. It should be like that with everything, though. Like, drinks and everything. You gotta have, like, niggas don't understand they love you. That's why niggas be out here on some stupid ass shit. You know what I'm saying? For real, like, people don't understand their meter. You have everybody got a meter. I don't give a fuck what you're doing. Even just eating food, like, simple shit. If you eat all day, you gonna feel fucked up the next day because you ate all day and then go to sleep. Mm-hmm. So, like, or if you don't eat, like, all the shit just adds up like a, a meter. You know what I'm saying? I think yeah. people need their meters. Right. I can honestly agree with that. Um, since you um said that, like, people need to be in the right state of mind to do ayahuasca, I can honestly say, like, if I was to do it, I would probably wait until I'm, like, mid-30s, 40. Okay. Probably. Why is that? I, uh, Cause I feel like, I don't know. I just feel like I need to be older and I need to go through more experiences in life. I feel like but I need if, more time on this planet. So what if you meet somebody that's like 20 and they feel like they about 6,000? Does that. the, I'm just saying, <laughs> what does the rules still apply? You said you want to do it when you're older. They're mm-hmm. already old soul age and they're young. And they want to do it. So would you tell them not to because they're not old enough physically? No, I wouldn't tell them that just because everybody has their own, has to make their own choices. But if if it's me, I'm going to say no, I'm going to wait until the right time for me. Okay. Okay. Because I feel like. So you feel the right time for you is 30 to 40. I feel like I, I have to. I, I can't even, you know what? I'll take that back. I can't even put an age on it. I would say I wouldn't have to go through more experiences in life and learn more about life because I'm only 23. So yeah. I look at, I feel like, right, like I was telling you, um, I'm just now realizing certain things in my life, you know? And I feel like right now would be too early. I'm not ready for it. Right. <laughs> and I feel like I, I need to, probably go through more things in my life in order to take that big step because I feel right because I've done shrooms before I've done that before how was that it was it was pretty interesting um I think I would say I learned more about myself okay I've let I'll say I learned things about myself that I've never known before Hmm. And, and um it was a good experience. I would say um, I would love to do it again. Um, my, mm. bir- my birthday's coming up this month. I might. I oh, so, oh um, shit. <laughs> so my birthday's coming up this month. I will be 24. So that might that might be one of the things I might be doing. Um, <clears throat> Interesting. Okay. So, we can um, talk more about that later. 
Yeah, we'll talk about I'm that hey, more later. I might have to come, yeah, I might have to come shake. <laughs> definitely, definitely. Um, But if I was to give advice to somebody who's never done it, I would say make sure your mind is right. Make sure your environment is right, not just your mind, because your mind could be totally fine, but your, your environment, if your environment's fucked up, it's going to fuck up your trip. Right. Um, also, I would suggest if you also, if you've never done it before, make sure you are around. If you are around people, make sure you're around somebody who has experience with it and make sure they ain't had no bad trips. Either. Right. <laughs> Yeah, I would I would rather you do it with somebody that has a lot um, more experience and knows their knowledge on psychedelics. Um, since we are talking about psychedelic trips, I've had I I can tell the story. I've uh, actually I did ask it before. Mm. Uh, that uh, that experience is a little different compared to Trump's. Mm -hmm. um, it's not really that different, but um. I can honestly say that experience was great as well. But um, like I said, to each his own for everybody. So um, I just say, just be, be aware of your surroundings and the people you're around. That's all I right. suggest to people. But um, <clears throat> uh, what else did I want to mention? Um, so when it comes to um, <clears throat> music, right? Mm -hmm. And your your process of making your music, what would mm -hmm. you say your your process is like? <clears throat> uh, sorting through thoughts, mm. like shit I be thinking about. Mm. I kind of just uh, really just kind of sort them out through music. And when I try to understand my own emotions, the only way it really comes out is through my songs. So like, it's very random. Like I hear that people's emotions can be very rational and random. Mm -hmm. That's kind of how my music is. Like that's why like people can't be like, ah, oh, he he sounds just like this or sounds just like that. Cause I I've heard people try to compare me to shit, and then they hear another song by me, and they be like, damn, you don't even really sound. You sound like you, but you don't sound like you sound on that song. So like. Mm -hmm. I don't know. As far as like, uh... I was now that you just said that. I mean, uh, people have like different ways of like expressing themselves, and sometimes they don't feel. I was about to say, way. how do you listen to music though? Because some people don't listen specifically for lyrics. You know what I'm saying? Well, since I um <clears throat> make beats and stuff, I normally look for what type of sound it's on. Right, right. Because um, usually I pretty much, I wouldn't say I ignore the artist. I wouldn't say that. Mm. I don't say that, but when I automatically hear music, I hear the sound first. And uh, it's kind of like when you go about like, making a song like when you normally go about making a song when you hear the beat you try to feel the vibe like what vibe are you feeling right. at that moment and um when it comes to music i basically look for the vibe on that beat right and if and um usually, my bad i had to cut you off because oh, i know you was asking me my process and like yeah. writing my songs to music but i want to understand the other side of it because like mm. I think lyrics mean everything, and then for a producer, I, I like, believe that as well. Much, but at the same time, mm -hmm. you, you you said like you make your beats based like you can't base it off the lyrics because you have to make your sound what you're saying through like the music. So mm -hmm. that's crazy how like that conundrum comes there because like I ignore the beat because of my lyrics and mm -hmm. beat makers and people that make beats and producers and stuff yeah. they ignore our lyrics to make the beat. So it's like already a conflicting action, you know what I'm saying? But it can make beautiful things. Okay, all right, all right. Since you want me to explain that, it would be like <clears throat> if I'm producing a song for an artist, mm -hmm. yes, I'm gonna listen to their lyrics and feel the vibe of their lyrics. Right. And then and then arrange the right that I feel 
the right correct but sound wait, for but that. wait but wait but wait what if they ask you mm-hmm. to make a beat and they ain't got no song like recorded but they just tell you they vibe then how I'm, would you go about that okay so i have to feel their vibe and get to know them first I would I would honestly get to know the artist first before mm-hmm. I even jump into that because right. I'm just for that I'm gonna just make a beat that's on my box because I don't you know I don't know that individual. You but said I need to it get though. To know that you person. said it though. Nah, you had it right. You would you would send them some of yours. Yeah, you know yeah, what I'm basically, yeah, yeah, basically, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. All right, I like that answer. I would I would like get them give them a feel of me first. Right. And then I'll let them give their feel of them to me. So I can right. feel them and, and just understand, like, what vibes are you on? Right. But if it's an artist that is, mm-hmm. like, somewhat established and has a sound, you would go listen to their shit and then make one. Yes, sir. I like that. Yes, sir. Because um, think of it this way, like, um, for example, uh, if I'm talking to an artist and let's say he's never made any type of music or this mm-hmm. kind of thing, let's just say he just wants to start music. And, you know, he right. just wants to. So, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get to know them first. Right. Since they don't, you know, that they never done it before. I'm going to get right. to know them. I'm going to basically like ask them like your regular questions like, what do you like? What makes you happy? What, what, what you know, that type stuff right like but i need to i also need to know every emotion like what makes you mad what makes you sad because that's what music does music puts you out of vibration your frequencies so right um, so basically i would just I'll have to get the feel of the person first Last line, you won't get cause simplicity in the age of information. That's just humanity, stabilization of the slave, clone of being complacent. Lots of thoughts, so apparently I'm thinking more than my lifespan. My tribe full of fallen angels, love risen from the doctor's soul to illuminate the light, man. Failure not an option, go cool at his prime, straight to the money, like Jordan to the rim. Two shots and two spots with three eyes on the go. Ton of vision, cyclops, red being aimed at a co-op. To burn up your soul, burn up to the soul for the money, I turn into a sinner, nigga. If it don't add up, add up, I kill a nigga. No, I'm not pushing people just for to fight and run to the gun because false evidence is a pin real. Kratos, mentality, predictable, soon to kill. Who wants to be a billionaire? Me. Deep conversations with demons and dragons. I entered the matrix, so absent compassion. What might be my aim? These people be asking destruction to all bring racks and right after a shoe. Khalil, my faction of assassin, L. Lion, L. Judah, Black Panthers are active. Don't question my theory. These words I've written are biblical. Thing look kind of scary. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> <laughs> the boogeyman. <laughs> yeah, like, and then the light is just cut on randomly when I move or whatnot. But yeah. <laughs> yeah, that that's pretty funny. I'm glad that you asked me that. That makes me feel, that makes me feel some type of way. <laughs> yeah, I just I, I gotta know. I like to know. I like to know things. That's kind of I feel what my purpose is like here, just the, to know. The same thing as like a vocalist is art. Vocals are art. Rap is art. Singing is right. art. People who make beats and make the sounds, that's art as well. You know, and um, that's another thing I feel. I feel uh, a lot of producers don't get their credit. And um, yeah, I, shout out to all the producers doing their thing out there. Um, shout out to right. all the artists as well. Like, keep doing right. what you're doing. Because it's not just the beat makes the artist, the artist makes the beat too. Right. Vice versa. I'm so happy that you asked me that. (laughs) Had to. So, um, what else was I going to say? I don't have a lot of shit. First of all, I didn't even get to um talk about Miller uh high life. I didn't get to. Oh man, that song. (laughs) Uh. (laughs) (laughs) 
I was really drunk when I wrote that song. Like, oh man. On Miller High Life. Like it was <laughs> Yo, true I story. figured why did I figure that? Like yeah. I didn't want to like automatically use <laughs> On the Miller High Life, because, like, where I worked, they had, like, a deal with Miller High Life, so we got free Miller High Life all the time. Oh, shit, okay. Yeah, so I wrote that song really just with that in mind, and all the shit I had on my mind kind of came out. Like, that whole song is almost, I wouldn't say this song, but I definitely was a lot more personal than I was being, like, You was just, feel, you was just feeling some type of way Yeah, time. I was just saying pretty much what I wanted to say at the time without even just, I don't know, I didn't feel like I was really trying on that song. You know what I'm saying? I love how it came out. Like, don't get me wrong. Like, yeah. when I say I ain't trying, I wasn't trying to rap. I was just trying to talk. And I feel it came across, like, but that's the, that's the art of it, baby. Like, that's the art yeah. of it. Whether it don't really... Well, it do matter what you say, and it don't really It does, it does. Say. It's like, but if that's how you feel, and that's what you feeling at that moment, shit's... But that you shit. know what I be saying. I ain't saying bullshit. Yeah, like, I, know, I know you're not even, saying bullshit. It's crazy, like, even the bullshit that I might say ain't even bullshit. Right, 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 right. You know what I'm <laughs> saying? So, like, yeah, I felt like that song, it was fun because I was drunk. And yeah. I got to talk about some shit that I don't really care about. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and yeah. just address it how it was. Yeah. I, I, I like that song. That shit was funny. Yeah. To me. I, <laughs> I, I fuck with, with that song just because of the, the vibe of it. I like the beat for it as well. So. That's what's up. So, um, these EPs that you said are coming out. Oh, just one EP right now. Just one right now. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. And, but the hey, I'm done, messing though. with you. I'm messing like with you. you, you might get the album after the EP. Um, put that out there. M- might get the album. Agent Manifesto Smith. Mm. Yeah, mm. yeah. But we gotta go back God, and talk damn, about the EP. To... Whenever damn. you see AMS now, now you know what that means. Now I got many questions. Anyway, nah, but I'm not, yeah. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I ain't gonna do that yeah. though. We're not, we, we, we not on gonna the EP. That. We gonna go back to the EP. <laughs> okay, so the EP. Let's talk about the message behind that. What message are you setting? All right. First off, the EP is called Activation. Mm. In order to fully understand that, if you remember at the end of the My Route video, I was putting on a mask. Yes, I do remember that. Mm-hmm. That's pretty much going into this EP as far as activation. To understand, I can't even say too much. Don't say no more. Uh, don't, don't say no more. Don't say no more. All right, that's all I'm gonna say. Uh, the EP mm-hmm. March thirty first mm. is when it drops. Okay. I, I give y'all the three songs. Mm-hmm. You got Enigma. I like that Down name. playing. I like that. Okay. And emotion like. The names for me. The names for me. That's one thing I really like about you. I like the names too. Not just the lyrics, the beats, and all the uh, this, that, and the third. Right. I like the names of the songs. Because you know how like some artists they name songs and you're just like, what the this don't know? Huh? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I feel like you put a lot of thought into your into name. the names. Yeah, mm-hmm. I, I <laughs> yeah, I definitely focus on the names a lot more than probably I should. Mm-hmm. But I think a title is everything. You know what I'm saying? A title makes people interested. Mm-hmm. Even people that aren't interested are kind of interested because they're like, damn, there's nothing else named like this. Exactly. So, like, yeah. Yeah, the, you got, the, you base you, to me, you got that wild fact. You definitely do. You got the wild trying, fact. Trying, trying. Nah, don't say that. Don't say trying. That's what you are doing. Nah, the only reason <laughs> I have to say trying because people haven't given, like, notice yet because I haven't done enough yet. I'm still working. Like like I said, I only got one. But I'll give it to you. I um, Even, okay, you're saying that you ain't put enough I gotta work put, in. Yeah, what you're saying. But I will time, tell you this. this the work, work that you've yeah. put in already, okay. like what you okay. have, build around that keep keep on doing that shit because that shit is good i'm not i'm not even gonna cap that shit is really good it's really good and i feel like you 
you put like even you you said um that Miller song you said you feel like you ain't really tried well to others it's, it don't sound like that yeah I appreciate that I appreciate that you know what I'm saying so you got anybody you want to shout out shout outs like I said Archer Creative Greg <laughs> my guy my engineer <laughs> my boy DT uh, Ariana John Lane, mm. Toshka, and uh, if I ain't remember your name right now, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That I gotta go there with it. No hard if feelings. For me, yeah, like you know who you is, and you fuck with me. All the people I didn't intentionally shout out, you know who you are. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? But yeah. And a shout out to you. Thank you so much. You know what I'm saying? Riot X in the building. And yep. shout out to uh, Metal Monkey Radio. You know what I'm saying? The yes, bro. sir. You know what I'm saying? And then shout out to me. So. Yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. You definitely got to give yourself a shout out. So um, thank you for coming on the show. Also, appreciate before it. my ass get up out of here, how can people contact you? Instagram, like. Instagram, I'm on Facebook, Pierre Void. Uh, Instagram, The Crazy Visionary. Uh, that's probably the best place to reach me, honestly. Reach you. you know what I'm saying? Yeah, Instagram. Instagram has all everything I'm doing. I'm on all platforms as far as music. You know what I'm saying? It's, except Gangsta Disciple Novels. You only can find that on SoundCloud. SoundCloud. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But yeah, that's about it. All right, everybody, I'll definitely leave the links in the description below. Make sure you scroll your ass down and click on that shit. And it's your girl, Raya X. Thank you for being on the show, Crazy Visionary. I definitely want to get you back on the show. When your projects drop, we going to have a talk, baby. Of course, of course. All right, well, I think it's time for me to roll up some weed. I'll catch y'all next week. About to smoke right now. Yup. Just different. Different. Yeah, man, we move the street. Fuck them waves, waves. Had to make my move from the streets. Fuck them waves Had to make my move from the streets Straight, straight Up, up in the way Supposedly too high They did not notice me Watch me hit that oldest lane In summertime Sun and shine Move with discretion We be condescending Testing the lessons Oblivious stressing Silent confessions Talking to myself As they month But they words on the day breath Niggas be tripping Falling still out Stepping these so-called Real big steppers 666 my presence Focus on fixing the message Auto corrections I even the pathway Found in the crevice Saw that my offers Attached to my sermons Vocally cursing While burning a vermin Screaming since vermin Still in my house With my verses be torn Scorching the surface With every breath I have chosen to mutter No time to talk at all I'ma always say Fuck them, so fuck them, fuck them. Man, we moving the street Fuck them waves, waves. Had to make my move from the streets. Street, straight, straight, up, up and away. Supposedly too high, they did not notice me. Watch me hit that oldest lane in summertime. Time, sunshine, man, we moving the streets. Street, fuck them waves. Had to make my move from the streets. Street, straight, straight, up, up and away. Supposedly too high, they did not notice me. Watch me hit that oldest lane in summertime. Streets like I'm tough, been had it on lock, vault, flow up top, lost, my aura attracting these moths, y'all cannot hide in the dark, my passion providing this spark, I got no time to flex on you, I'm not a workable schedule, get out the way what you better do, I'm falling in, no parachutes, spitting lyric bullets, that's your whole truth, got a nigga power like Goku, get your top pushed back, sunroof, they watching my steps like one two. I do not want to behave, bro. Fuck they wave. Fuck. Man, we move the street. Fuck them waves. Waves had to make my move from the streets. Street straight, straight. Up, up in the way. Supposedly too high, they did not notice me. Watch me hit that oldest lane in summertime. Sunshine. Man, we move the street. Street. Fuck them waves. Had to make my move from the 
street, street, straight, straight. Up, up and away, supposedly too high. They did not notice me. Watch me hit that oldest lane in summertime. Time, sunshine, shine. Yeah. I said, don't eat my supper for breakfast. Sleep never be coming to get me. Upsetting as I be sitting up, sunrise and my rise is panic in a bit. Cause earth really a prison. Suddenly closing my vision. Black of the berry, the deeper the digging. History hidden. Eight hours of dreaming. To me, sounds resonating with being bad written. Cloud chasing for an image. Instagram, just sit by standards, be posted with pictures. Hypothetically, might be a bad business. I be medically bad living. Inside that box of the bad riddle. Proud of my death for being a bitch that didn't teach me shit. Man, we moving the street. Watch me hit that on the sun, sunshine, sunshine.